Hi, this is my computer at work. I access it through remote desktop to show that I can access my personal files at home where I am right now. I will access my files through file transfer protocol FTP. Then write the IP address of the location. It asks you for a password and username. And then voila, here they are. See? I'm going to close now my remote desktop by disconnecting and go to my desktop where I am working. How to install the FTP server on Windows XP? You can use your old computer wherein you are about to throw away, revise it, and use just add a hard drive for more space for your file, and then voila! You can use that as your file server and you can share files over the internet and over your network at home. Here is how you install it. Click the start button, then go to your control panel. On the control panel, check your administrative tools folder, find the ISS. If none, install it. Select add remove windows components. Then select Internet Information Services under Windows Component. Click Details and select the File Transfer Protocol FTV Service. And remember that in doing this, this will also automatically select common files and Internet Information Services is snap in. Click OK and follow the instructions for the install wizard or you can just push next if you don't feel reading it. Be prepared with your Windows XP CD because it might prompt you for it if you haven't already installed. Once it is done, you might have to restart your computer after this. Let's move on. Now in here, the control panel, add, remove, opening, and then Add components, here you go. Now, a Windows component, ISS, this one. We're going to click details, and here is the file transfer protocol services. Click on that. Common files is checked also. Internet information services snap in is checked also. Click OK. Now, next, now asking for the CD. I think I have the CD inside. Browsing the CD. There you go. I got it in here already running. And then click OK. Now installing the program. It looks like some files are missing. Click again. And then retry. Oops. I trying to install the program. And then click finish. Now, next thing that you have to do is to go to the con, uh, administrative tools and under administrative tools, here you go. You got this internet inform information services. Try to open that. And then there, the name of the PC uh, is there. And there is a file transfer protocol services in here. I will just go ahead and configure this computer now by right-clicking this icon and uh, TCP port 21 is open and you have here allow anonymous connection if you're going to uh, click this one activate this one it doesn't require a uh, username and yeah, password I should say but I would like for the sake of uh, uh, testing I would like this to be unchecked and here comes possible messages that you want to fill in but we are not going to do this this time and on here a home directory where your files you would like them to save right here the default is uh, in drive C in a pub folder and underneath is FTP root and it is on read only 
if you want to upload files you can uh, check on write it will allow it will allow you to uh, upload files not only read and then click apply right there now if you want don't want the default folder provided you can recreate another maybe I can go to uh, drive C and then create another folder FTP I just deleted that a while ago there you go and then I will click that and then apply oh it's only red FT yes here it goes now I'm going to uh, create a folder inside and just uh, write test folder and another file like text file and then another one test uh, file name now how are we going to access this file let's see if we can do it you can access this file over uh, your uh, IP address and let's find out our IP address locally in here here's a command prompt uh, IP config and my IP address address is uh, locally is 192.168.241.129 now I open a folder in any location and I'm going to write this FTP colon double forward slash and the IP address it's already here since I already tested a while ago and voila it prompts me for a password as a user of this PC and now uh, logging in with my password and username there you go the test file and the test folder created are seen creating a file transfer server over windows xp is done accessing file over the internet configuration is another topic so long have a good one